An isotopic signature also isotopic fingerprint is a ratio of non-radiogenic stable isotopes, stable radiogenic isotopes, or unstable radioactive isotopes of particular elements in an investigated material. The ratios of isotopes in a sample material are measured by isotope ratio mass spectrometry against an isotopic reference material. This process is called isotope analysis. Topic: Stable isotopes. The atomic mass of different isotopes affect their chemical kinetic behavior, leading to natural isotope separation processes. Topic: Carbon isotopes. For example, different sources and sinks of methane have different affinity for the 12C and 13C isotopes, which allows distinguishing between different sources by the 13C, 12C ratio in methane in the air. In geochemistry, paleoclimatology and paleoceanography this ratio is called delta 13 c The ratio is calculated with respect to PD belemnite PDB standard delta C 13 s a m p l e equals c 13 12 c sample c 13 12 c s t a n D A R D minus one one thousand Display style delta C E carrot thirteen C underscore mathram sample equals left frac C E carrot thirteen C carrot twelve C underscore C E sample C E carrot thirteen C carrot twelve C underscore mathram standard minus one right C D O T one thousand Per mil similarly, carbon in inorganic carbonates shows little isotopic fractionation, while carbon in materials originated by photosynthesis is depleted of the heavier isotopes. In addition, there are two types of plants with different biochemical pathways, the C3 carbon fixation, where the isotope separation effect is more pronounced, C4 carbon fixation, where the heavier 13C is less depleted, and Crassulacean acid metabolism CAM plants, where the effect is similar but less pronounced than with C4 plants. Isotopic fractionation in plants is caused by physical slower diffusion of 13C in plant tissues due to increased atomic weight and biochemical preference of 12C by two enzymes, Rubisco and phosphonolpyruvate carboxylase factors. The different isotope ratios for the two kinds of plants propagate through the food chain, thus it is possible to determine if the principal diet of a human or an animal consists primarily of C3 plants rice, wheat, soybeans, potatoes or C4 plants corn, or corn-fed beef by isotope analysis of their flesh and bone collagen however, to obtain more accurate determinations, carbon isotopic fractionation must be also taken into account, since several studies have reported significant 30 C discrimination during biodegradation of simple and complex substrates. Within C3 plants processes regulating changes in delta 13 C are well understood, particularly at the leaf level, but also during wood formation. Many recent studies combine leaf level isotopic fractionation with annual patterns of wood formation i.e. tree ring delta 13 C to quantify the impacts of climatic variations and atmospheric composition on physiological processes of individual trees and forest stands. The next phase of understanding, in terrestrial ecosystems at least, seems to be the combination of multiple isotopic proxies to decipher interactions between plants, soils and the atmosphere, and predict how changes in land use will affect climate change. Similarly, marine fish contain more 13C than freshwater fish, with values approximating the C4 and C3 plants respectively. The ratio of carbon-13 and carbon-12 isotopes in these types of plants is as follows C4 plants, minus 16 to minus 10 per mil CAM plants, minus 20 to minus 10 per mil 
C3 plants, minus 33 to minus 24 per mil limestones formed by precipitation in seas from the atmospheric carbon dioxide contain normal proportion of 13 C. Conversely, calcite found in salt domes originates from carbon dioxide formed by oxidation of petroleum, which due to its plant origin is 13 C depleted. The layer of limestone deposited at the Permian extinction 252 Maya can be identified by the 1% drop in 13 C, 12 C. The 14 C isotope is important in distinguishing biosynthetized materials from man made ones. Biogenic chemicals are derived from biospheric carbon, which contains 14 C. Carbon in artificially made chemicals is usually derived from fossil fuels like coal or petroleum, where the 14C originally present has decayed below detectable limits. The amount of 14C currently present in a sample therefore indicates the proportion of carbon of biogenic origin. Topic: <laughs> Nitrogen isotopes. Nitrogen-15, or 15N, is often used in agricultural and medical research, for example in the meselson stahl experiment to establish the nature of DNA replication. An extension of this research resulted in development of DNA-based stable isotope probing, which allows examination of links between metabolic function and taxonomic identity of microorganisms in the environment, without the need for culture isolation. Proteins can be isotopically labeled by cultivating them in a medium containing 15N as the only source of nitrogen, e.g., in quantitative proteomics such as SILAC. Nitrogen-15 is extensively used to trace mineral nitrogen compounds, particularly fertilizers, in the environment. When combined with the use of other isotopic labels, 15N is also a very important tracer for describing the fate of nitrogenous organic pollutants. Nitrogen-15 tracing is an important method used in biogeochemistry. The ratio of stable nitrogen isotopes, 15N, 14N or delta-15N, tends to increase with trophic level, such that herbivores have higher nitrogen isotope values than plants, and carnivores have higher nitrogen isotope values than herbivores. Depending on the tissue being examined, there tends to be an increase of 3 to 4 parts per thousand with each increase in trophic level. The tissues and hair of vegans therefore contain significantly lower delta-15N than the bodies of people who eat mostly meat. Similarly, a terrestrial diet produces a different signature than a marine-based diet. Isotopic analysis of hair is an important source of information for archaeologists, providing clues about the ancient diets and differing cultural attitudes to food sources. A number of other environmental and physiological factors can influence the nitrogen isotopic composition at the base of the food web, i.e., in plants, or at the level of individual animals. For example, in arid regions, the nitrogen cycle tends to be more open and prone to the loss of 14N, increasing delta-15N in soils and plants. This leads to relatively high delta-15N values in plants and animals in hot and arid ecosystems relative to cooler and moister ecosystems. Furthermore, elevated delta-15N have been linked to the preferential excretion of 14N and reutilization of already enriched 15N tissues in the body under prolonged water stress conditions or insufficient protein intake. Delta-15N also provides a diagnostic tool in planetary science as the ratio exhibited in atmospheres and surface materials is closely tied to the conditions under which materials form. Topic. Oxygen isotopes Oxygen comes in three variants, but the 17O is so rare that it is very difficult to detect approximately 0.04% abundant. The ratio of 18O, 16O in water depends on the amount of evaporation the water experienced as 18O is heavier and therefore less likely to vaporize. As the vapor tension depends on the concentration of dissolved salts, the 18O, 16O ratio shows correlation on the salinity and temperature of water. As oxygen gets built into the shells of calcium carbonate secreting organisms, such sediments prove a chronological record of temperature and salinity of the water in the area. 
Oxygen isotope ratio in atmosphere varies predictably with time of year and geographic location, e.g. there is a 2% difference between 18O rich precipitation in Montana and 18O depleted precipitation in Florida Keys. This variability can be used for approximate determination of geographic location of origin of a material, e.g. it is possible to determine where a shipment of uranium oxide was produced. The rate of exchange of surface isotopes with the environment has to be taken in account. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radiogenic isotopes. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Lead isotopes. Lead consists of four stable isotopes, 204 petabits, 206 petabits, 207 petabits, and 208 petabits. Local variations in uranium, thorium, lead content cause a wide location-specific variation of isotopic ratios for lead from different localities. Lead emitted to the atmosphere by industrial processes has an isotopic composition different from lead in minerals. Combustion of gasoline with tetraethylene additive led to formation of ubiquitous micrometer-sized lead-rich particulates in car exhaust smoke, especially in urban areas the man-made lead particles are much more common than natural ones. The differences in isotopic content in particles found in objects can be used for approximate geolocation of the object's origin. Radioactive isotopes Hot particles, radioactive particles of nuclear fallout and radioactive waste, also exhibit distinct isotopic signatures. Their radionuclide composition and thus their age and origin can be determined by mass spectrometry or by gamma spectrometry. For example, particles generated by a nuclear blast contain detectable amounts of 60 Co and 152 U. The Chernobyl accident did not release these particles but did release 125 Sb and 144 Ce. Particles from underwater bursts will consist mostly of irradiated sea salts. Ratios of 152 U, 155 U, 154 U, 155 U, and 238 Pu, 239 Pu are also different for fusion and fission nuclear weapons, which allows identification of hot particles of unknown origin. Topic: <laughs> Applications. <laughs> Topic: Archaeological studies. In archaeological studies, stable isotope ratios have been used to track diet within the time span formation of analyzed tissues, 10 to 15 years for bone collagen and intra-annual periods for tooth enamel bioappetite from individuals. Recipes of foodstuffs ceramic vessel residues, locations of cultivation and types of plants grown chemical extractions from sediments, and migration of individuals dental material. <laughs> <laughs> Forensics With the advent of stable isotope ratio mass spectrometry, isotopic signatures of materials find increasing use in forensics, distinguishing the origin of otherwise similar materials and tracking the materials to their common source. For example, the isotope signatures of plants can be to a degree influenced by the growth conditions, including moisture and nutrient availability. In case of synthetic materials, the signature is influenced by the conditions during the chemical reaction. The isotopic signature profiling is useful in cases where other kinds of profiling, e.g. characterization of impurities, are not optimal. Electronics coupled with scintillator detectors are routinely used to evaluate isotope signatures and identify unknown sources. A study was published demonstrating the possibility of determination of the origin of a common brown PSA packaging tape by using the carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen isotopic signature of the backing polymer, additives, and adhesive. Measurement of carbon isotopic ratios can be used for detection of adulteration of honey. 
Addition of sugars originated from corn or sugarcane C4 plants skews the isotopic ratio of sugars present in honey, but does not influence the isotopic ratio of proteins. In an unadulterated honey, the carbon isotopic ratios of sugars and proteins should match. As low as 7% level of addition can be detected, nuclear explosions form 10B by a reaction of fast neutrons with 13C in the carbon dioxide in air. This is one of the historical indicators of past activity at nuclear test sites. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Solar system origins. Isotopic fingerprints are used to study the origin of materials in the solar system. For example, the moon's oxygen isotopic ratios seem to be essentially identical to Earth's. Oxygen isotopic ratios, which may be measured very precisely, yield a unique and distinct signature for each solar system body. Different oxygen isotopic signatures can indicate the origin of material ejected into space. The Moon's titanium isotope ratio 50T, 47T, appears close to the Earth's within 4 ppm. In 2013, a study was released that indicated water in lunar magma was indistinguishable from carbonaceous chondrites and nearly the same as Earth's, based on the composition of water isotopes. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins of life Isotopic fingerprints typical of life, preserved in sediments, have been used to suggest that life existed on the planet already by 3.85 billion years ago. See also Isoscapes Isotope electrochemistry <laughs>